So hi, welcome to another Tech Tuesday. Today I'm taking a look at the MM1000 here from Course Air. This is a QI enabled charging mat, generally paired with the Dark Core SCRGB, which I've got here as well. Today I'm going to be generally focusing on the mat. I've done a comparison of this mat versus the PowerPlay and Hyperflux. I'll put the link in the description. And I've also done an independent review of the mouse here from Corsair as well. If you're not familiar with my Tech Tuesdays, I go through gaming peripherals generally and different technologies. And I look at the pros and cons and give you guys and girls my thoughts on what I think about them and whether they're any good or there's bad sides to them as well. If you want anything featured, put it in the comments and I'll take a look. And if you haven't already, check out the Thrift Thursday giveaway that I'm doing at the moment for the fine USB microphone. So the dimensions of this mat are 260 millimeters in length playable area. If you include the USB block, it's 290 millimeters. It's 350 millimeters wide. And they say it's five millimeters deep, but it's more like eight millimeters deep. The USB block is 25 millimeters high and it comes in only in a hard surface. One of the key features of this mat is the QI charging. It has a QI charging in the top right hand corner here that you can charge the mouse on. And also you can charge things like a mobile phone. If your mobile phone doesn't come with a QI charger, you've got an adapter here from Corsair, that's cool. It's got a lightning port and it's also got a USB-C port. So that's quite nice from Corsair. But the mouse itself can only charge when it's in the top right hand corner. I found this to be particularly awkward to find, which is unfortunate. It wasn't very easy to make sure the mouse was on here. It would have been nice to have a bit of a larger area. And that's where some of the other pads potentially benefit because they're charging on more of a larger surface. The mat itself is very secure. It's got a nice rubber feet, almost like a Lego texture underneath the little knobbles. Doesn't move around. The mat itself is a hard surface with a gaming texture. It feels a bit like the MM800. It's slightly rough, but it's not too rough that it's going to tear up the feet on the mouse. And it's certainly a fast surface. The mat itself comes with no RGB lighting, which is a bit disappointing here. Given the size of it, it would have been nice to have seen that here from Corsair. It does have a charge light on top of the USB block, which I've already said has a pass-through for USB 3.0. The con to that though is the cable is rather thick due to having two USB ports as well that you need to plug in. And it's not very flexible and it's about a meter and a half, so it's a little bit short as well. I found the map to be very accurate when I was using it for certain games. I had no issues with the accuracy on it. But I found because of the height of the mat that I did find it dug into my wrist a little bit, although it wasn't too much of an issue. I did feel that I could feel it on my wrist, hence it being a little bit thicker than most of the mats that I'm used to using. It does pair up nicely with the Dark Core SE. It comes in at about 75 UK pounds at the moment, this mat. But unless you've got the Dark Core SCQI version here, this mat really is not going to be that useful to you unless you want to charge your phone. The problem with charging your phone or maybe a watch is that when you're charging it, you can't use the mat because of where it positions. It cuts off quite a lot of the mat and that takes away a lot of the surface and stops you being able to particularly game. You might be able to do some desktop work, but it's a little bit of an issue for space then on the mat. The USB block is rather high, as I've said here. This wasn't an issue because it's nicely offset finally to the left here from Corsair. I guess if you're going to use a wide mouse, it now sits out of the way a little bit, but you're going to have a problem then when you're on the left-hand side of the mat because of the size of the USB block. So you're still going to need a bungee, whether it's in the center or it's on the left, because it's still pretty big. So overall price-wise, again, this is 75 quid. It's around 25 quid more than MM800 here. And you get the ability to have a QI charger built into it. So that's not a bad price, but you're really going to use a QI charger when you're not using your mat. And when you're near your PC, you'd be on the mat maybe. Ooh, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you would use it. So I hope this review has been useful to you. If you want to see any more of these, hit the like button and subscribe button. And until the next one, I'll catch you all again. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.